Hello Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for the end of February 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aries signs. This won't resonate with everybody, so take what you want, leave what you don't, and have fun with the reading. Let's see what we got. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for Aries in love for the end of February? As all messages we brought through these cards are for the best and greatest good of our Aries viewers. All right, Aries. Starting off the reading with some heartbreak. I had to take a deep breath. Like, it feels very, very heavy. Feeling the sadness. Could be um, from somebody who is not moving. Um, you were waiting for somebody to come forward, someone to come to you, to cut themselves out of a situation that they were in outside of you, and it's it's breaking your heart because they're not doing it. I will pull clarifiers after I get all your cards out as well, so we'll be able to see exactly a little bit more what that heartbreak's about. All right, yeah, most definitely not moving, being stuck, stuck waiting for somebody, um, feeling stuck like you can't move forward, um, could be with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're wanting to create a new life with this person. You're wanting to create something new. Um, and you just feel like you're stuck. You feel like you've been um, fighting for for their attention, for their love. And it's just, you feel wore out. You feel like this has become such a burden. Um, the, the heaviness of this just weighs you down, wears you out. Yeah, you feel very disconnected from this person. You feel you feel this is your soulmate, but you just you're you can't figure out why they're not coming towards you, why you're, they're not moving forward. Um, yeah, they're they're um, needing to break away from a bonded relationship, or you, um, Aries, are needing to break away from something that is very bonded like that you're very bonded to very chained to i do feel that this is the person that you are waiting for the person you're in separation from they're needing to break free from a toxic relationship i do see them doing that let's see what yeah so right now you're just kind of stuck in this position of waiting not moving forward you're you're just Nothing is moving forward. You have the chariot reverse with the hanged man. We're just in a time of pause. Yeah, you're questioning whether you should just walk away. <clears throat> whether you should cut your losses and just and just move forward, leaving this person in the past. Um You're hoping that they come forward and make you this offer of love soon. <laughs> the outcome of this reading, however, is the Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So you will find victory at towards the end of the month. You will find this new, uh, this newfound love, this this new beginning, full of of overflowing love. Um, it's just, you, it's just feeling really stuck right now. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the star being clarified by the five of wands in the reverse and the world in reverse. Now let's see what your next cards out are. Okay. Okay. So... 
Yeah, let's get some clarifiers out here and see what we all got. Why is the Three of Swords here for Aries? Yeah, you're you're hearing some news. This person could possibly um, not be leaving the situation that like they had told you, and it's breaking your heart. You're just wanting to get this relationship off the ground. You're wanting to create um, this new beginning with this person, create this life, um, and it's just not moving forward. And you could be stumbling across something on the internet. You could be getting information from somebody um, that is is breaking your heart because you're not getting that opportunity to do that just yet. Um, you were hoping this person would have moved out of the situation that they're currently in. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? And they're not, or they haven't yet. Yeah, and they could be um, stalling, cutting away from the situation because they have children. Um, why is the Chariot here in reverse? Why is the chariot here in reverse for Aries? Whoa. Thank you. Yeah, they're not, they could have a, a wife at home. They could have um, somebody that they have built a home with, somebody that's nurturing the relationship um, on the other side of things. So they're not moving away from this other person. Um, and that's what's breaking your heart. Yeah. Um, they were juggling their energy between you and uh, somebody else. You were the mistress here, as the empress sometimes represents. Um, they were juggling their energies, or they are, and they're they're not moving away just yet from that person that is nurturing them at home because they have children with this person, and that's just and that's breaking your heart. Why is the nine of wands here in reverse for Aries? Queen of Rods. Yeah, Aries, you're just feeling like, what am I fighting for then? Why am I wasting my time? Why am I still sitting here um, defending this connection, um, fighting for this love when here I sit by myself? Um, but most definitely they are juggling their energy between you, Aries, on the right here and somebody else on the left. Possible earth sign, it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody else that's nurturing them in a, a different relationship. Um, with the Ten of Wands, it's the King of Pentacles in reverse. You could be dealing with an earth sign, but um, it's just you're tired of your um, stability being up in the air. You're tired of waiting on this person to build a stable relationship with. You're tired of carrying the burden of waiting for this person. And you're just, you're getting ready just to, to walk away from it. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, you're feeling you're feeling like this isn't moving forward because they have another family. Um, you're feeling like you're being cheated out of the family that you want or you feel you deserve. Um, but them having a different family, children, and um, a spouse with somebody else is keeping the two of you from being together at this moment. But they are thinking about you a lot. Um, look at this. This is all earth sign. Um every card except for you right here. So you could be dealing with a, a definite earth sign or somebody that holds those qualities. Why is the devil here in reverse? Yeah, they're needing to break free from this toxic relationship before they can give you this new beginning, before they can give you this love. They have an un, a, a cup that is just overflowing with love for you, but they can't show you that or give you that until they break free from this person they're bonded to legally. Um, could be a toxic relationship, but I'm seeing mo more so that it's just somebody that they're legally bound to at this moment. Why is the hanging in here? Yeah, it could be dealing with a, a Virgo or a nurse sign, like I said, but this person is um, keeping you in a pause or keeping you in a wait, hurry up and wait. Um, in this time of wait, though, you are being enlightened. You are healing. You are um, looking at things in a different way, looking at why this had to happen, why this is happening. And you're just, um, you're really gaining a whole new sense of 
what this is all about. You're gaining a sense of who you are and um, it is benefiting you. However, um, it is getting frustrating for you. They are beginning to go within. They are beginning to see that in order for them to um, be truly happy with the Ace of Cups, they have to follow their heart. And they are going to begin to follow their inner light as it's pointing towards the Ace of Cups here. They are going to uh, move in a direction that their heart leads them. They just have to break free from this bonded relationship that they have. Um, they, You have the Five of Swords here as well. You're considering just walking away from this connection. Um, the universe is, um, you know, lighting the path for you as well as illuminating things that were done when you were a third party um, with the three of pentacles here. The universe is conspiring to put the two of you back in each other's path, but it's a lot of work. It takes time. And um, so you're being guided to follow the path that, that you feel you should take, whether you should move forward, whether you should um, move forward alone or with, move forward with this person. Just um, move it's being, you're being guided to move away from this energy of, uh, the five of swords because nobody wins in that energy, but this, this is a third party situation. Um, but like I said, the sun is illuminating what is done and what needs to be illuminated in order for the two of you to come back together. Your guys' uh, outcome is the Prince of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Why is the Prince of Cups here? Why is the Prince of Cups here for Aries? The Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So that Earth sign is most definitely coming towards you and making you a love offer, Aries. You just have to be a little more patient. They're going through a lot of stuff themselves. Why is the Six of Wands here? You're going to find success most definitely with this person. But part of the lesson is being patient and to um, continue to heal. Why is the Six of Wands here for Aries? Thank you. The Four of Cups. Yeah. You'll find success when you learn or when you learn or figure out what the lesson of all this is. The four of cups um, is, you know, looking at focusing on what you don't have is not going to bring you in that cup that the universe is trying to show you. You have to focus on that one cup that the universe is um, gifting you and uh, and not focus on what isn't there. So once you learn this, uh, learn the lesson that the universe is trying to show you with that cup, Aries, that is when this will move forward very quickly and you will find success. I do see you guys figuring that out. Like I said, down here with the hanged man, I had said that you were figuring out why this all had to happen, what the lesson in all this was. That just um, confirms it right there. But in your overall outcome with the Ace of Cups, this is going to bring in a much abundance um, when the two of you are able to come back together in emotions, in love, in, in happiness. Um, why is the Ace of Cups here? the fool. Yeah, you will get your new beginning. You will get that fresh uh, start, that clean slate, that leap of faith. You will get that, but you have to believe it's coming for you, Aries, and um, follow your intuition. Follow your uh, that little voice inside of you because it, you know um, where you're being guided to because it's guiding you to healing, and you need this healing. You need to listen to that inner voice, that inner guide, um, because you need this healing from what has happened in the past, what you need healing from what broke your heart, from all this outside competition, from all these conflicts between the two of you, you need to heal those, um, hurts from that conflict. And as soon as this, uh, world flips in the upright, your Knight of Pentacles is working on closing out that cycle. They are working on breaking free from that person that they are bonded to, that they are tied to. Um, but they are working on that. And when they do complete that, that is when they will move forward. It is taking a little bit longer than what um, they thought it would or what you had hoped it would, but it is going to happen. So have faith 
and continue working on that broken heart, um, continue healing that heart, um, because there is so much here for you, Aries, with this person, um, Uh, there is so much here with this person that is going to be uh, yours when this new beginning starts, but there has to be some healing done from that broken heart. And then all this is going to move so quickly in the next two weeks. So let's get a card of advice from our goddess guidance cards here. What can Aries expect in the next two weeks? What do you want them to know? Please and thank you. All right. True love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Now look at that. Nice. How beautiful. Your bottom of the deck is you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So just be aware of how sensitive you are in the next couple weeks and know that the universe is delivering this true love to you, Aries. So have faith, believe in it, um, know that it's coming for you and keep healing that broken heart um, with that star card. And this uh, person is coming for you very, very soon. So, all right, guys, I send you lots of love and God bless.